I call it the 2.4 problem. Everybody read along with me. Write several different types good, of equations for 2.4. So is there one right answer for that question? No. no. Many right answers. Do several of them and then move on to the next part. Draw some different types of pictures to represent 2.4. So the second part, we want pictures. So that if you show it to somebody, they look at it and say, oh, that's 2.4. I can tell by looking at your picture. How could you do that? It's a hard question. It doesn't have to be a picture like a picture of a tree and a person. I mean, it can be like a, a diagram. It just can't have necessarily words and numbers in it. That's what I'm looking for. Something's more like a diagram type of a thing. Next part. Is 2.4 the same thing as the? Quotient. Two remainder four. You have to decide, yes or no, 2.4 could be the same thing as two remainder four. If you believe yes, then the next part is why or why not? So you have to prove, again, with pictures, diagrams, doing math problems, showing it on your paper, why is 2.4 the same thing as two remainder four as a quotient? If it's not, you've got to prove to somebody that believes that it is why it's not. All right. First, before you do anything else, I want you to turn to your neighbor without talking about the problem. I want you to talk about what you're going to do before you leave. What are you and your partner going to do to solve this? Go. Okay, raise your hand if you think you know what you're going to do right now. All right, good. Spread out. Get to work on it. Go. Okay, one point two. Yeah. So, it's just going down the decimal. We have 1.2 times 2. And okay, maybe we can figure out a smaller number than that and then multiply it by a higher number than 2. Then that could create 2.4. Do you want to add to it or subtract? Did you guys get to the part about is 2.4 the same thing as 2 remaining 4? No. You might want to get to that okay. because you already have several equations. Yeah. Right? Show me on your fingers, and if you had 10 or more, then sh just go ahead and do 10. Show me on your fingers, because that's all fingers most of you have at least. I mean, <laughs> show me on your fingers how many different equations you got to represent 2.4. All right, I'm seeing numbers from 3 on up through 10, and which means some of you got more than 10. How many of you had some different types of pictures to represent 2.4 in your paper? Raise your hand if you got some pictures. Uh, any kind of pictures. Okay, most of you have some pictures. Um, who, how many of you think 2.4 is the same thing as 2 remainder 4? Raise your hand. How many of you think 2 remainder 4 is not the same thing as 2.4? Thank you. How many of you did some sort of representation on your paper, explanation of why you think what's your answer? Excellent. Okay. Oh, you went through everything? You shared everything? We agreed on the same answer on the last why or why how about, not. How about your drawings? I only got one. Yeah, me too. I only got one. Did you kind of share what you had with each other and maybe copy each other's? Oh. I got... Me and Jackie came up with this weird thing, like, how to represent it. You can, like... Because that'd be 16. Eight makes up a hole in this place. In this case. So, I'm saying... Eight. Oh, I see how you're doing so, it. Yes. But that wouldn't... Well, mm. You'd have to color them in because you'd yeah. still have to. Yeah, I would. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think I'd color them in. 30,612,756 divided by 12,755,315. Yeah. Difference because he equals two points. But 16.000 is the same number as 16. They're both the exact same number. No, because it equals six because it has the um, six. And then if you do it like that, it would equal six. Right, it's stick. Okay, so first you do, you change 2.4 into two and four tenths, which is equal to 24 over 10 times one half and you can reduce 24 or you could cross reduce 
24 to 12, 2 to 1. 12 times 1 is 12. 10 times 1 is 10, which equals 1 and 2 tenths, which is equal to the decimal of 1.2 times 2, which equals 2.4. I did first, I did any number, I just did any number times 2.4, I got the answer. So it's just the same thing as doing the other way. It's like you're doing any number times 2.4 and you get the answer. So the answer divided by what you divided by which equals 2.4. Yes? So you don't have any decimals in your um, divides where you're yeah. doing it. So it was how could point you get zero. Your it was point zero. Yeah. So you're trying to say that it's a remainder. She only did the actual work on the scratch piece of paper and it actually added up to the numbers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, you say on the bottom, I know this is, well, it does have something to do with it. You say no, that a remainder is not, so that would make no sense with that. When you multiply a decimal times a number, can you get an answer that's not a decimal? Yes. What if I multiplied 2.1 times 10? Would my answer have a decimal in it? No, right? Because the decimal point ends up becoming 0 0.0. 2.1 times 10. Look at this and help me out. Okay, I can just put the zero placeholder down, right? What do I do next? Which is? One. And then? Two times two. Two times, two, two times one, which is? Two. How many spots does the decimal point go over? One. one. What's the answer? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. So I multiplied a decimal and got a non-decimal answer. So if I showed this to you as a division problem, 21 divided by 10, do you see any decimal in there? No. But the answer is 2.1, which is a decimal. How many little pie pieces are there here? 10. 10. Okay, so you shaded in 10 out of the 10 pie pieces, and then she shaded in another 10 out of 10, and then she shaded in 4 out of 10. Talk to your neighbor. Does that equal 2 and 4 tenths? Yes. Okay, let's vote. Yes, that's a good representation. No, that's not a good representation. Okay. We're going to have to move on because of time. The answer is yes. That's a perfect way to do that. Okay, how many of you believe that 2.4 is the same thing as 2 remainder 4? How many of you think that that's not true? Oh, some of you changed your mind when we went around and reached consensus. Well, how'd you get yes? Because if two tenths is a remainder, I mean four tenths, it has to be, it has to be a remainder because if you took out four tenths, it would just be a regular two. No. So if you had four tenths, it'd be a remainder after two. Okay. Well, like say you did three divided by eight, that would be two, and you have remainder two, and that'd be six point six, and then keep on going for every get the same remainder and just keep on going and so that's if you're calculating a decimal answer and if you're not calculating a decimal answer then it'll just be two remainder two. It's not a remainder. So it is a remainder. It's a fraction. It's a fraction. Yeah, exactly. It's I thought you were going with it. Going with yeah, so down. now it's even three to no. one. I was going with Jolie. I know. Remainder. Yeah. Because how is the majority of rules in math? Show me in your thumbs how you're feeling about remainder. Yes, it's a remainder or could be a remainder. No, it's not a remainder. Okay, we could go all day on this. So here is the answer. Are you ready? The answer is... Yeah! The answer is no. Now here is why the answer is no. But I, I take that back. The answer is mostly no. It could be yes, but I didn't hear anybody that proved why it could be yes and not no. Okay, so, okay, 16 divided by 6, okay? 16 divided by 6. How many 6 are there in 16? Two. 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 What's the remainder? Four. Two remainder.